Hello and welcome to your daily love message from your person. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And today I'm going to bring in two decks of cards to connect with their energy. We're going to connect with the Divine Masculine Dark Truths Come to Light deck and the Divine Masculine Secrets of the Soul. Both of these are my decks. You can find these on makeplaincards.com. Now, earlier in the reading, we connected with the fact that they intend to marry you. Your journey is long term. So we're going to connect with their dark truths about this today. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. <clears throat> they are giving me a block in the throat chakra. So, you know, things are on their mind they intend to say. So if they haven't said to you yet they want to marry you or they see their future with you, this is what's going to come in. So thank you, angels. What do they want to say to you today? First card out. There we go. What do they... Wow. Okay. So we've got two cards, three cards, four cards. These are jumping out and this one's on the floor. Five cards. So five cards, very powerful ones, I feel. And then with the secrets of the soul, what do they want to say to you today? Jumped out and that card's sticking out. Okay. Let's see what's going on. So the first message coming through today is storms. Wow, storms. Now, there may be some actual storms going on in the world today. So if you actually see a storm or maybe you watch a film about a storm or you see a storm on social media, that's really showing you in the outside world that that's what's going on. But what your person is saying to you is this, chaos is brewing. Chaos, something's brewing. Now, in the earlier reading, we spoke about endings. They intend to end what they are in right now to be with you long term. So if they're in a karmic situation, then they know that they've got to end that. Or if they're in something toxic to them, they know they need to end that, whether that's addiction or something else. So they're saying chaos is brewing as I prepare. And they're preparing to make these changes. So if you are seeing storms or lightning or maybe you watch a film about a twister or Something big is shown to you in that way, or maybe there's some wind or, you know, something is happening. It's a huge sign that there is a storm brewing. There is chaos about to happen because they're preparing to make big changes. They are saying to you, as I prepare to sit down and talk things out with people in my life, and this is you, yes, they intend to sit down with you and talk things out and talk about the future and you're going to put things on the table and you're going to come to compromise and realizations but they are talking about people in their life now so they're talking about talking to their karmic partner or their boss or their friends or their family they are going to talk things out with people in their life and that's you know creating this storm because that storm is going to bring out you know, it's going to bring out the best of them and the worst of them. There could be some arguments. There could be some chaos. So this is why they're quiet. Okay, so if they're quiet with you, you know, they're just not speaking to you. They may be not responding to you. Maybe there's silence there because they may have blocked you. Or if they're quiet on social media, if they're quiet, it's because they don't want to drag you into it. So understand they're trying to protect you at this time. And it's not just that they are protecting you. You're being protected by heaven. So if you're seeing storms in the outside world or in your, you know, if you're seeing social media things going on or you're being reminded you're being protected, you don't need to be dragged into chaos, drama. You don't need to be dragged into anything you don't need to be dragged into. So what your person is saying is once I'm free... I'll reach out to you once they are free, whether that means free of that situation or free as in once they've dealt with that and they've got time to themselves, they're going to reach out to you. So give it time to happen naturally. Understand that you're being protected right now. Oh, wow, this really resonates with this. Look at this quiet on social media. So they're saying here, this is why I'm quiet, okay? This is why I'm quiet. So quiet can be just not communicating at all or it could mean quiet on social media. I'm not active on your social media. I'm not liking your posts on social media. I'm acting like I don't care on social media because I'm afraid that if I show it in any way, everyone will know that I love you. Everyone will know that I care about you, that I want you. And this will cause more, more drama as I'm not free yet. So this particular energy I'm connecting with is definitely a masculine who needs to release themselves from something they are in. Like, and I'm, I'm really feeling like a marriage that's been going on for a long, long time or 
you know, a situation that's been ongoing for a long, long time. And they're sitting there with their head in the hands. You know, they oh, I can't do this anymore. It's driving me crazy. And they don't want to drag you into that because, you know, there could be volatile energy there. Their karmic partner could be mad at you and take it out on you. You know, you could get some kind of, you know, kind of crazy energy coming at you from somewhere. And you don't need that. So you're being protected. So whether they are quiet with you or quiet on social media or whatever they're doing, they're saying, I'm not free yet. So give me time. And once I am free, I'll reach out to you. So don't take anything personally right now. We've got Leo. Look at this. The energy we're currently in, this August energy, this Leo season with the Lionsgate we've had and everything else is bringing them strength. I feel strong enough to make this happen. I feel strong enough to sit down and create this storm. I feel strong enough to tell you how I feel. I feel strong enough to make changes in my life. This is all happening right now. So if they've blocked you, let go, okay? I felt pressured when I blocked you. I feel pressured when I feel I have to block you. I feel pressured when I push you away. I feel pressured, especially if you've been pressuring them to make a change or make a choice. They're feeling pressured by that, but really it's their own mind. It's nothing to do with you at all. It's they need that space to figure things out. So they're saying, I'll unblock you and come back to you when I feel calmer and back in control. So if they've blocked you out or pushed you away, they're saying, I need to deal with what I'm dealing with and then I'm going to come back. I'll unblock you, I'll come back, I'll reach out when I've dealt with this and I'm back in control because they need to deal with this to move forward. And some of them have been through grief too. Now they may have lost a loved one. This could have happened recently or it could have happened over the last few years and they've been dealing with that energy. I've recently lost a loved one. So we think of recently, we think about yesterday or last week or last month, but this could have happened a few years ago. It still feels recent. You know, for someone who's lost both parents and many other people along the way through cancer and other things, you know, we feel it's very recent. It doesn't matter how long ago it was, it's, it's recent. So your person's saying, I've recently lost a loved one. And I've been dealing with all of the feelings that this has brought up to the surface. All the feelings it's brought up for healing. So this could be losing a friend, losing, you know, a family member. It could be through death or it could be losing someone. Maybe their best friend's got married and they feel they've lost that person. Or maybe their best friend's got a child and they feel they've lost that person. But whatever it is, whatever the loss is, it could even be losing you, but I feel it's something else. This loss is helping them to realize how precious life is. They don't want to waste a second longer without you in their life. They're realizing now, come on, life's too short. We need to make this happen. Don't ever let me go. Your person is saying to you today, don't ever let me go. Please don't move on. Please don't let me go. I couldn't bear it. And I feel you where, I feel what you feel. Everywhere you feel it, I feel what you feel. So this is also about the way you feel each other, the way you connect, the way you just know, the way you know they're there. You just connect with them, you know. I remember when I went through something in my own journey when, you know, my special person, I knew that um, I, I, I had to go to an airport. I was going to the airport and I had to be somewhere and I told him I was going to be at the airport and he said, I can't make it for this and this reason. Okay. And I was in the airport the night before when I was flying out the next day and I just knew he was there. I knew it. I could feel his energy. I felt it all through my body and I knew he was there. And within seconds of me feeling that, I had a message on my phone. He said, I'm here. I'm in the car park. And I just knew it anyway. I knew he was there. So you feel it, you feel what they feel, they feel what you feel, you feel what they feel. They're saying, I feel what you feel everywhere that you feel it. Everywhere that you feel it, whether it's in your body, whether it's in your soul, your heart, your solar plexus, your crown chakra tingling, you will feel it. And the winky face is because this is about the chemistry between you, the desirable energy, the fact that you want each other, the fact that the desire is so strong. I feel what you feel everywhere you feel it. And you were the priority in my life. Look at it closer. So if you're thinking, oh, he's blocked me or he doesn't want me or it's not there at all. He's saying, look at it closer. What that means is he's protecting you while he deals with his situation. 
He's protecting you from all this storm and this drama and this chaos. You are the priority because he's intending to take care of his business right now. I'm quiet because I'm going to sit down and talk things out with people in my life. That means you're the priority in their life. They are doing that so they can be with you. And they are preparing to sit down and talk things out with you to tell you and show you that you're the priority in their life. So when you look at it closer, when you stop being stressed about any blocking going on or them being quiet on social media, you'll realize they're gaining the strength to make this happen. And when you allow yourself to feel what you're feeling, you know that you feel what they are feeling everywhere, that they feel it. Your person saying, don't ever let me go, I'm dealing with it. Oh my goodness me, I've got these two cards moving on top of the deck. We've got earthquakes and we've got Aquarius energy and this card's moving at the bottom of the deck as well. Virgo, wow. So there may be some signs here, you know, if you're a Leo, a Virgo, an Aquarius, an Earth sign even. You know, if you're connecting with these energies, there's extra messages there for you. But your person saying to you, doesn't matter what horoscope you are, your person saying, you are perfect for me and right for me in every way. And that's why they want you. They're saying, I'm ready to show the world the real me. I'm stepping into my authenticity. I'm ready to shake this world apart. Big shifts are happening behind the scenes in my life and underneath the surface of my skin. So they are feeling this in their old body as well. Big changes. Big changes are happening to create the way for union. I feel this. I feel things are moving beneath me. I feel things are moving around me, within me. Something is coming. Can you feel it too? So you may see storms, you may see earthquakes, you may see tornadoes, huge sign of shifts occurring here, big shifts happening during this Leo season to move things forward, okay? And the fact that we've also got Leo, Virgo and Aquarius is a huge sign. So if I go to my timelines here, you know, Leo is where we are right now, we could then head into Virgo season, as we move towards September, and then Aquarius energy is between February. So again, this is all these changes are happening here between now and February. For, so for some of you, it's going to happen this month. For some of you, it's going to happen next month. For some of you, it's going to take a bit longer, depending on the circumstances, you know, if there's kids or there's money involved or other things going on. But I feel karmic endings happening between now and February, which really resonates with the wood snake coming in in 2025. So if you start seeing earthquakes, if you start seeing um, rumblings, if you start seeing storms, this is all a huge sign of the changes they are making. And it's all happening because not only have they lost you, but they've also lost people in their life or they've lost things and they are realizing life's too short for this. I don't ever want you to let me go and I'm going to prove to you now because of the situation and what I'm doing that you are the priority in my life. You just need to look they're blocking my throat. You just need to look look at it closer, especially when there's blocks or delays. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.